Hey there, this is Akshit Madan. Welcome back to a very important video and this video is Flutter Clean Architecture. So many of you were asking about uh, clean architecture, what is it, why do we need it? So in simple sentence saying that clean architecture is just a maintainable, scalable way of creating your project structure, of your folder structure, right? Because when you create a project for yourself, let's say you are the only one who is coding, you sometimes create widgets, pages, you create uh, uh, like state management classes anywhere or everywhere, right? Somewhere you're writing Firebase classes, somewhere you're writing Firebase services, functions, anywhere, right? But when you enter into a company, there is a certain format needs to be followed. So this is kind of a format which most of the companies follow who are using Flutter in their projects. This is Flutter Clean Architecture, right? And after this video, you will know why is it called this clean architecture because it is really, really very, very clean, right? So to understand it, in, you just need to understand a few basic terms, right? So now you need to know that, first of all, you need to know that in clean architecture, there are three main folders. So what is clean architecture? It's a, just a better way of creating a cool or what I can say, scalable folder structure, right? Right. So which is maintainable and scalable, right? So this clean architecture has three major folders, right? Let's say you're creating a feature in your project, in your Flutter project. So that feature is going to have three main folders. They are going to be data, business and presentation. Data is at the core. Presentation is at the outermost layer, is the outermost layer. Why? Because presentation you can see, right? Presentation users can see. Data or this business layer users may not be able to see. Your users of your application are going to communicate through the presentation layer, right? What is presentation layer? UI pages, widgets, buttons, cards, users click on that parts, right? Users click on a button. User is not going to click on a data, right? So that's why presentation is at the outermost layer and it is the biggest layer. You're going to invest most of your time on the presentation layer because this is time consuming, right? You need to design your buttons. You need to design your cards. This is your presentation layer. It can have pages, widgets, as I said, inside it, we have a business layer. Business layer, basically like a bridge between your presentation layer and your data layer, right? So business layer is at the middle. So what business layer do does is it takes your data. It takes your event from your presentation layer. Let's you click on a button. You want to do, make an API call. It takes that required data from your presentation layer, passes on to the data layer. Data layer makes the API calls. So we have come to the data layer. Data layer is a place where API calls are being made. The network works, network work is being done. Or let's say you're not having any API calls, you're not having any remote database. You have your own local database in your mobile phone, right? So that work is also done at the data layer. So data layer is at the center of your, this whole clean architecture cone, I can say, or sphere, I can say. I hope this much is clear. So we have data, business and presentation layer. And as I said, your data flow is going to be in this direction from presentation to business, from business to data. Perfect. Let's go ahead. As I said, presentation is going to be your visible layer. So we have an eye over here. Business layer is going to be like a bridge, takes the data from your presentation layer, passes on to the, this is, this is like this, passes on to the data layer. So it's kind of a bridge. Then your data layer, it's kind of your network layer, or it takes and holds data or calls the APIs, to get your data, right? So this is www. That means network calls can happen here. Now, which are the folders inside your presentation business and data layer? So in your presentation layer, you need to have pages, providers and widgets. Now instead of this providers, you can have block also, right? So it is kind of state management. So what I wanted to say is, uh, let's say you're in your project, you're following this clean architecture. So first of all, you're going to have data folder, business, business folder, presentation folder. Inside your presentation, you need to have pages folder, providers folder, or block folder, or your widgets folder. In business, you need to have entities, repositories, and use cases. In your data layer, you need to have models, repositories, and data sources. These are the folders that you need to have in your clean architecture folders, main folders, right? Now let's dive deeper into what is pages, providers, widgets, what is entities, repositories, and use cases, and what are models, repositories, and data sources. Right? So let's go ahead. So this is a cycle, right? It's kind of a cycle. 
your users, your user is going to come and click on the page or a widget. Let's say he or she clicks on your widget, right? So when he or she clicks on the widgets, so I'm considering it as a presentation. So this is my presentation layer. So presentation layer is like a, a communication point or the touch point with your user. Let's say the user clicks on some button and some data is collected. Let's say a form was being collected. So data is collected from the user. Now that data will be passed to your business layer. Now that business layer has these use cases, right? So basically these use cases are nothing, but they are the functions which call your repository functions. Now what are repository functions? Repository functions uh, are some kind of functions which call your data sources function. So as I told, as I told that uh, your business layer, this is my business layer, it's kind of a, a bridge between your presentation and your data layer. So these repositories takes your data from your presentation layer through use cases. Please listen to me very, very carefully. Your business layer takes your data uh, in the form of repositories as repositories through your use cases from your presentation layer and passes on to the repositories of your data layer, right? So these repositories are there in use cases also, sorry, in business layer also, uh, and they are also in your uh, data layer also. So these repositories takes data in the form of entities and data layer uh, repositories takes data in the form of models. So entities and models are the same thing. Models are working mainly with the network part, data part, and entities are working mainly with the business part. But basically they are the data holding data structures itself at the end, right? Data structures. Okay, next thing. So uh, as I told, so these use cases are nothing but the functions which call your repository functions, right? And they are taking your data from the presentation layer, passing on to the data layer, right? So uh, presentation layer to the data layer, okay? So in this data layer, this is my D data layer, it is taking your data uh, in the form of models and calling the repository function. Basically, these are the network calls, API services, which are calling your APIs, passing the data, post, get, call, anything, it can be anything, and getting the data in the form of responses. Now that data can be stored in the data sources. Now those data sources are nothing, but it can be your local database, it can be your remote database, MongoDB, Firebase, anything. I don't care, right? So once the data is filled, these data sources hit your providers or your business logic layer, block layers, right? And these providers updates your pages and widgets, right? Like this, the cycle is completed. From widgets to repositories, entities, use cases, to repositories, models of data sources, data sources to your business logic layer of your presentation layer. And again, the cycle can repeat. This is clean architecture. Let's go into the further part, right? So this is my presentation layer, providers, pages, and widgets, business layer, use cases, repository entities, and the models, repository, and data sources. So these pages and widgets, pages and widgets are calling your use cases, okay? Calling your use cases. These use cases are nothing, but they're calling your repository functions, and these repository functions takes data in the form of entities, right? And now, these use cases, the, this business layer is trying to call your data layer, repositories, and these repositories takes data in the form of models, right? So this is something like this, right? From pages to widgets, we, passing, we are passing the data to our use cases, repository functions through entities. Then we are passing the data to your data layer, repositories through models. These models and repository are calling your API service, getting the responses, saving your data in the form of in the, in the data sources, right? These data resources can be remote or it can be local DB, right? And these data sources are updating your provider or hitting your provider and these providers updates your pages and widgets or basically your UI layer. Again, we have understood the flow. I hope this is clear. And you need to, if you are following your clean architects, try to follow it in the same way. Try to name your folders in the same way, right? What we are having next? Again, the same thing, if you, this is just a summary slide. From pages and widgets, we call the use cases. Use cases are using repositories through entities. So entities are your data structures, which helps you to take the data. Call the repositories, models, they take the, take, take the data in the form of models and they, they communicate with your data sources. These data sources can be remote or local. 
दे अपडेट यर प्रोवाइडर राइट दे अपडेट यर प्रोवाइडर अगेन पेजेस एंड विजिट्स टू यूज केसेस यूज केसेस रिपोजिट एंड लाइक दिस आई होप दिस वॉज क्लियर अगेन द सेम थिंग आई हैव डन बेसिकली यू हैव अंडरस्टूड वी हैव नथिंग आफ्टर दिस ओके सो आई होप द क्लीन आर्किटेक्चर वॉज क्लियर सो बेसिकली वॉट वी वॉन्टेड टू लर्न आर द सिग्निफिकेंसेज ऑफ डेटा बिजनेस एंड प्रेजेंटेशन लेयर and i hope that now if you are using clean architecture in your company project try to use this structure this is a very clean architecture it is going to separate your layers very well so if you have any queries you can reach out to me on linkedin and till the next video keep coding keep innovating and thanks a lot